If you've been frustrated because of the latest iOS 14 changes where Facebook introduces new updates to their system and causes errors such as this and this, right? I'm gonna show you how you can actually resolve all these. So stay tuned for this video. Hey guys, this is Julian right here, known as the Ecom Champ. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can actually overcome all the errors. That has been caused because of this latest ios update and i know that it's been causing a lot of frustration for a lot of you sometimes makes you even want to pull out your hair right that's it i've had enough because facebook hasn't been really helpful you know it's very frustrating when it's very difficult for you to navigate and to try to find out the solutions and the solutions aren't available anywhere right, at the point of this recording so i'm going to show you step by step so you no longer have to worry about how to actually do it so in case you've been living under a rock let me quickly explain what this whole issue is all about so basically apple has just updated their policy and now is requiring all apps in the app store to show a discouraging prompt to users on iOS 14 devices and this essentially means that in order for apps to actually collect data the user now must give the permission in order to do that and naturally a lot of users will not want to do that and this will cause a lot of issues in terms of tracking in terms of optimizing in terms of targeting in terms of reporting even to a lot of marketers and a lot of marketing platforms out there not just Facebook so we're in my computer right now and as you can see this is one of the errors that you'll be seeing if you log into your ad manager all right and i'm going to show you what you need to do first of all you actually need to go to the resource center before you do anything click on resource center right and if you scroll down these are some of the things that facebook requires you to do to read as well not much of a help to be honest but i'm going to show you what you actually need to look out for look at this thing that says review pixels just click on review pixels and you will be then led to this page that requires you to verify your domain that's the first thing you need to do you need to verify your domain right if you see this one right here it says this is the website and click on verify domain this is one of my demo accounts so click on verify domain and what you do is you then will be told to manage your domain right so click on add type in the domain name that you want to add in so for example mine is www.easypz.com right add your domain okay so there you go you can see that it appears right now and it says that i need to actually verify my dns all right there are a couple ways for you to do it number one or you can use a dns verification you can also use a html file upload right and you can also use a meta tech verification now i found that the easiest for me was to do a dns verification and you bought your domain from shopify then in order for you to make all these text changes you may just need to uh, refer to shopify's help guide and i'll just put it in the description as well i didn't actually buy my domain from shopify right? so i'm not able to show you uh, how it works but if you actually look at this it just says go to your shopify admin go to online store domain and then under shopify manage domains just click on the domain that you want to edit click on dns settings right? and then you can add the custom record right there all right so for me i actually bought my domain from a third party which is godaddy so i'm going to show you how to actually do, do it from godaddy it works the same whether you're using godaddy namesheet whatsoever right so if you actually log on to your godaddy and if you actually go to dns management it will be the same for any um, hosting that you use all right all you need to do is just go down to records right here you can see these are the information that are currently available what you need to do is you just need to follow the instructions that are given right here all right so all you need to do in this case it says add this txt record to the dns configuration so you just need to copy the code right here whatever it says all right so i'm going to go back to this right now okay i'm just going to click on add Right, under type, I'm going to click on TXT because that's what's required. Under host, you're going to put this add symbol. Under the text value, TXT value, this is going to paste whatever that Facebook gave you. All right? So it'll be different for everyone. So I'm just going to click on add. And there you go. It's been added down here, right here. All right? And then now what I do is I simply just go back to my business settings right here. Just click on verify. Now it may take some time for the verification process 
uh, to get underway but as you can see mine just happens immediately it just says it's verified already all right so fantastic now if you don't want to do that way there's actually a second method that you can do which is the meta tab verification and that way may be simpler for some of you so what you do is just go over to this meta tab verification tab right here and just copy this entire code at the bottom all right paste it in your shopify so what you need to do is just go to your online store and then what you need to do is click on actions then click on edit code and under edit code just head over to your team.liquid so go to team.liquid and what you do next is under team.liquid all right just put it somewhere under head all right you see the word head and the head at the bottom just put it somewhere in the middle all right you can just put it right here just paste it right here and then just click on save it works the same as well all right so this is the second way for you if you want to make things easier you don't want to go through all the domain settings this may be an easier method for some of you all right so after you have done that if you actually go back to here you will see that it's now verified and if you click verify then you will see that it has been already been verified for my case all right so next all right if you actually go back to your web event configurations if you actually click on refresh you will see that now it has been verified you can see domain verified right here all right so what you do next just click on this arrow and click on edit events all right and then you see that it says you know you may take out 48 hours to see the results click on edit what you need to do now is you need to actually match eight different kinds of the, your pixel and the events that you want to put in so you need to actually click on this add event all right and you need to fill up the slots right here so just click the pixel that you want to actually use for example if i just use this easy peasy pixel click on event name all right click on view content all right and if there are any other events for example if you have purchased right you need to put that in as well right for this because this is just a test account i didn't have any purchases any add to cards and all those kind of things and you can actually just arrange it in terms of priority as well so for example right here the highest priority should always be for my in my case would be a purchase uh, event but because again this is just a test account i don't have purchases right now so i can't show you that so i would say that the order of priority that i would suggest for you to do would be purchase as the highest second would be initiate checkout third would be uh, add payment info and then the fourth would be add to cart and then fifth uh, view content right and then after that can be any others that you have all right so all these make sure that you have that filled up once you've done just click on submit all right and then click on this yes i understand this changes click on apply all right that's about it that's all you need to do so if you just go back to your ad manager and now when you actually choose your conversion event for example view content you can see that there's no more error if you choose purchase for example you can see that there's actually still the error right here because i again it hasn't been mapped yet so you need to do the mapping uh, for purchase but you need to actually get a purchase first before you can actually map it out all right one more thing that you need to do is you fix your conversion apis all right so if you've not done this already okay this is what you need to do especially if you have shopify you actually need to just go to your online store right and what you need to do is you actually need to go to preferences and under preferences you need to click on this thing called setup pixel right so what you need to do is you need to actually connect your shopify and facebook all right when you actually do that you can see you you're required to install this facebook sales channel just click on sales channel add sales channel and what you need to do next is you need to actually connect your account all right so i'm just going to quickly do that right now you may see a few sensors here and there because there's some of my private uh, content right here so yeah let me just do that right now all right so as you can see i put in my facebook account business manager add account i need to actually just update payments all right what you do next is uh, also add in your facebook page under data sharing enable customer data sharing and this one i actually put in the maximum and if you scroll down right here just click on confirm as well and if you scroll down to this we'll actually talk about the facebook target country this one i just suggest you to put whichever country that you uh, usually target for me i just put in united states and then under terms and conditions click on accept and there you go uh, especially once you click on your once you put in your payment under your payment details then you can just click on finish that up and you're good to go
so guys i hope that this has been helpful for all of you and if this really did give you some value to give you some information do help me out by smashing the like button also subscribe to my channel so i'll be more motivated to do content like this with that said guys catch you in the next video bye in this video i'm going to show you how i get one to three days shipping times without using aliexpress